We're learning that a phone company has taken the FBI to court after the Bureau sent a secret letter demanding the firm turn over some customer records in what could become one of the biggest legal fights over, the, over an aspect of the Patriot Act. That counterterrorism law passed in the Bush administration expanded the government's ability to collect information about its own citizens. Now the Wall Street Journal, which our parent company owns, reports that after the phone company challenged the national security letter, the Justice Department filed its own civil complaint, accusing the company of interfering with the United States' sovereign interests. Court documents obtained by the Wall Street Journal did not reveal the name of that phone company. With us now, the Wall Street Journal's assistant managing editor and executive business editor, John Bussey. Great to see Good you. Good to see you. What is this? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jennifer Valentino DeFries has a story in today's paper, <clears throat> and it uh, is about uh, how much the FBI should be allowed to go to a phone company and say, we need these records, and the phone company be compelled to hand them over. Uh, this particular phone company is saying, you know something, uh, we're not going to hand them over. We think that this uh, aspect of searching for data, for information, needs to have a court involved. The court needs to make these decisions. The FBI shouldn't be allowed to do them by themselves. Your mic is rubbing on your tie. Pull it down just a little bit. I'm sorry. Will do. All right, so what's the next step? Well, the, the, the court's going to have to decide whether or not there's merit to this case. Uh, the uh, company is saying, look, you know, we, we're not even allowed to talk about this publicly. There's a gag order when these national security letters are delivered to a company. Mm -hmm. So we can't talk about it. We can't go to court seeking redress. Something is wrong. The FBI says, well, wait a second. Uh, that's not fair. What we're after is information in the interest of national security. And if you relieve the gag order on this, then the target of our investigation might find out about it. Mm -hmm. So we don't want the gag uh, order uh, relieved. The court's going to have to decide what to do. You, you knew this, this Patriot Act and elements of it were going to come under a repeated attack. But you've got to have quite a set to take the FBI to court. And there has been no phone company that has done this up until now. There's, there's been some sort of interactions, there's been some protests, uh, but there hasn't been a company that has really kind of challenged this. And that's why this is interesting. After the Patriot Act, the FBI got additional powers, got essentially more flexibility mm -hmm. to issue, issue these national security letters. And that's when some of the phone companies began to push back. The phone companies push back, and if the pe once the people start finding out what's going down here, it could get even more interesting. Well, it could get more interesting. On the other hand, there's a lot of people that say we need to have these powers in the hand of law enforcement to go after terrorists. Uh, but how much is too much? And this particular company is saying this is too much. You have to have a grand jury or some legal equivalent saying it's time for a company like a phone company to actually have to hand over data. You know, Anna Siga and, and, and Mercedes Cole, Anna Siga Nicolasi is with us, and criminal defense attorney uh, and Fox News legal analyst Mercedes Cole are here. There, there was always this analogy made that on 9 11, somebody just boom and hit a pendulum at the bottom of a clock, you know, and it's been swinging back harshly, back and forth with great, with great flow for a long time. And right now we're at a place where they're trampling on our liberties and trampling on our freedoms, and they think that in the name of security they can do any damn thing they want to us. They can feel us up. Right. They can tap our phones. They can flow drone, fly drones over their house. I mean, people out there worried about big government, they say they are, but nobody complains about any of this stuff. It is insanity. Absolute power corrupts, corrupts absolutely. absolutely. That's what state. we have there. And look, there's a reason why there's a separation of powers here. We've got the executive branch. We've got the legislative branch. We have the judiciary. Why? The judiciary branch is the watchdog. If this court order is oppressive, if this order, court order is unreasonable, the court can step in and say, you're not going to comply with that NSL phone company. It's not permissible under the law. They're the watchdog, and this, this law in particular is constraining the watchdog in this regard. We want them to get the terrorists, too. We just don't want them to take away all that this country has given us by way of our creator, according to the document. And this is not doing that in any way. You know, also, to go to the extremes of saying that everything has to be out and open and all the time, unfortunately, that's going to lead to more death. And we have to be very cognizant of that. This is to protect our citizens, each and every one of us. It is not asking for everything. Uh, it is not asking for content. It is, first of all, it has to be certified that this is something that is needed to conduct an investigation that particularly is affecting counterterrorism or terrorism. 
these letters have already broken up terrorist cells. Would anyone here want us to be in the position well, of uh, not. not being able to do that? But you know what they could do? They could send somebody from the government to sleep in the house with all of us, and then they'd know what everyone was doing, and we could get rid of all the crime. And you know what we could also do? We could also make the speed limit on the interstate five miles an hour. Then no one would die in car wrecks. So we're there's a lot that, that there's a lot the government can do on this mm -hmm. if they want to. And they seem to be getting there, don't they?